All right, so that concludes our walkthrough of the dental trauma guide. I hope that you've learned something or at least refreshed your memory on things you already knew. I uh, hope you find that this guide is useful and something that will be an important resource for your dental practice. If you have any recommendations or comments, please let me know. And the same goes for the dental trauma handout as well. Uh, if updates are made, all new updates, documents, um, all those things will be posted in the handout section of the course. And moving forward from here, I will be on the lookout for clinical cases that we could document and post as part of the course content to aid in the learning environment. Unfortunately, at this time, although I've treated many of these cases, I don't have a ton of them documented with photos, radiographs, video, or all of the important details you'd want to review the case. I will be on the lookout in the future and part of that documentation actually depends on the patient's willingness to let me share their cases for education opportunities. So we'll just have to see. I hope you've enjoyed this course and I want to thank you for joining me on this journey and going through it. Uh, as I mentioned before, I make all of these resources for myself and for my residents. So I figure sharing these resources with you could be beneficial and benefit you as well. I had a friend who recently said, and I don't know where he got this or who the original person who said it was, uh, but he said that shared knowledge is shared power. Uh, I really like that statement and I could not agree with it more. Keep learning, keep improving, and if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Until next time, I'll see you later.